Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. So, can we start it? Yes or no? Mark? Go ahead. Okay. So welcome to VC Ski Fitness Sunday Fit for You, Sunday Ski Fit for You. I'm Vivian Fonseca. Cara, can you can you hear me? I can hear you. Yep, I am here. I'm just waiting for my video to uh, be activated. <laughs> okay, um, okay. So let's start our workout for ski fitness. So Cara, do you want to introduce yourself, or I can carry uh, on? There we are. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> there I am. Hi, everyone. There we go. Cool. So, um, well, you've met Vivian. I am Cara Brown, and I'm the other half of VC Ski Fitness. And we're super excited to be doing the Ski Fitness Sundays with Ellis Brigham. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking you guys through a little bit about VC Ski Fitness and we're going to be showing you what we do on our programs. So what VC Ski Fitness is about is it's, an, it's a workout program. It's going to get you fitter overall, but specifically it's going to focus on your skiing fitness and improve your skiing performance. So what's really cool is that because this is a collaboration between Vivian and I, I have a little bit of expertise in the skiing world and Vivian is what I like to call Google for exercises. Um, <laughs> literally, this woman has a exercise for every single problem you can throw at her. Um, and so this is more than just, you know, do some squats, get big thighs and get fit for skiing. This is, we encompass everything. We do motor skills, we do uh, coordination, balance, reflexes. We focus on the forces that are going through your body when you're skiing and try to strengthen you up so you can be as ready as possible so yeah that's what we're all about and we're really looking forward to showing it to you guys on these ski pit sundays with ellis brigham so vivian tell us what we're going to need for today's workout okay for so today we have first we have to set up uh, set up what we have to do here like for you guys at your home just get some space okay just push your furniture away a little bit like i did here in my house <laughs> And then what you have to do, a little space, uh, a mat or a towel, like it's up to you. If you don't have mat, doesn't, it's not a problem. A towel is fine. About uh, what you have to wear for this workout, okay? I'm wearing uh, trainers, but you can uh, stay barefoot. It's, it's not a problem. It's up to you. You feel more comfortable. If you want to wear uh, trainers, you have more stability for exercises. If you want to be like in barefoot, you'll be more instable. If you are a pro in stability, you train in stability so you can stay barefoot. If you're first time doing exercise for stability and strength, I recommend you put your trainers, okay? The other thing is, is our first workout here. So we assume you don't have any kind of equipment, of course, just body weight we have used here today. But in the future, if you wanted to put some challenge on your workout, you can use some mini bands like this one. OK, so the next workouts, you can just get some mini bands. I have my mini bands. So if you want to go for our website and buy some mini bands, it's fine. It would be good. It'd be great. Otherwise, just grab some mini bands if you want in the future just to get more challenging your workout. But for today, fine. Just your body, mat, trainers or without trainers, and then follow me huh so girls and guys everyone is watching us today let's start our warm-up so the warm-up is just to uh, lubricate like your joints to get ready for your workout for today we'll be working our ankles uh, knees joints and hips joints so let's do some warm-up let's go everybody ready so three and two and one, side to side, just warm up your body slowly, side to side. And then you have to step side to the side and stop in the middle and move your knees side to side. Just to warm up. Attention, to warm up, you don't need to stretch. Your warm up is just little movements and like low intensity to start wake up your muscles okay just side to side slowly move your knees move your hips side to side and stop in one side and just a little movement you push your hips down 10 9 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, all the side the same way. And one, and two, and three, breathe in, breathe out, wake up. And five, four, and three, and two, and one. Now in the middle, just rotate your trunk side to side as well. Move your shoulders, step on the floor, move your body. And three, and two, and one. Move now just for one side and hold a little bit. Other side the same way. Okay, go in the middle. Move your body down, your trunk down, bend over. Go one side. Go other side. Go in the middle, all the way up. Move your foot like just for one, um, circling your foot from one direction and move for the other direction. The same way your toes on the floor, one side, move for the other side. And now move, lift your leg up, in and out, in and out, in and out, five, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, other side, and one, and two, and three, Let's do five more, five, five, and four, and three, and two. Now let's do side to side, one leg alternating, side to side, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Stop in the middle, bend your knees, big, big stretching, cross your fingers on the top, big breath, go from one side, other side in the middle breathe in deep breath breathe out open your chest and let's start at our workout training Kara is with you thanks so good job guys made it through the warm-up so what vivian said is today we're going to be working ankles knees and hips and hopefully if you've been skiing before you have heard of all those joints because they are vital to your skiing so you might have heard this before if you haven't, don't worry, I'm gonna talk you through it. So skiing starts from the ground up. So what I mean by ground up skiing is that your turn starts with your ankles and then your knees and then your hips. So, and then eventually your shoulders follow. So why, why do we do it this way? Well, it's pretty simple. If you watch me, I'm gonna make a turn. If I start with my shoulders, watch what happens to my outside ski, my leg down here. It has to come off the ground. If this leg's coming off the ground, how can you carve? There's no way. So that's why we engage our ankles, we engage our knees to keep them nice and soft, and then the hip moves us forward, and that's how you start a good turn. So that's why we are focusing on these three joints this morning. So Vivian first is gonna take you guys through some exercises for your ankles to help strengthen them and to help your mobility in them. So over to you, Vivian, for ankles. Okay, so guys, pay attention here more in my feet, okay? I know I have different levels of fitness here, like different kind of people, different kind of levels of uh, strength. So I try to uh, do the way everybody can join. So you just adjust your level with according with the exercise I'm, I'm teaching here, I'm, I'm showing you, okay? So the first one is, Bend your knees just a little bit, just a little bit, because the focus is on your ankles, okay? So we have to suck your navel in, like engage your core, don't relax your upper body. If it's not upper, uh, upper body, all body needs to be connected for the old exercise we do, okay? So bend your knees a little bit. We start to move our feet in and out. Uh, first one side, in and out in and out just to start to move all the joints all the muscles all the bones on your foot one side easy okay super easy here if you're wearing trainers it's easier if you're on your foot you can feel more the movement now let's do for other side out push out 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 one more out 
Now we start this properly. Attention, both feet, we have to go one side, back, other side, back. Attention to my hips, attention to my knees. They just follow my heels. My hips don't move, they stay on the middle, in the middle all the time. Side, other side, side, other side. Now let's go for the other movement. We have to go up, toes and back, toes and back. Attention to my posture. I don't move my posture. I don't move my hips. I don't move my elbows, my shoulders. Everything is here in the same position. Lift your toes, lift your heels up, just toes on the floor. Five and four and three. It looks simple, but if you don't pay attention to your position, if you don't pay attention to your hips position, you're not connecting upper body, lower body. You don't activate the, uh, the correct muscles, okay? One more time. Perfect. Now, I start to move my right leg or left is up to you back and come to the center. Attention here. You can't move your knee out. You have to push backwards and go to the center, okay? Attention if you're not moving your knee out. The goal here is to keep the stability one side completely still. And five, back here. And four, back here. And three, back here. Two, one more. One, now is the challenge. You have to step back, go up, lift your, your heel up. Again, step back, up, up. Again, heel, this heel up, okay? The heel on the floor, up. Again, up. Yes. Lift your heel up, back. Heel up, back. Heel up, back. Good. Heel up, back. Two more, up, back, one more. Okay, I know you could feel a little bit burn in your thighs and your calves, perfect. Other side, just step and back. Attention to your knee. One more time, it looks simple, but if you don't keep your body straight, strong, you will start to overcompensate muscles here, okay? And keep going, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now the challenge, lift your heel up, up. Push your leg and lift up, up. Attention everyone, you have to really try to lift your heel up, two more. And one more. Great. Back to the center. Now let's start to the side, okay? This leg here to the side. Side, don't move your knee. Back. Side, back. Side. Back two more. Side, back. The challenge. Lift your heel up again. One. Side. You up, two, up, three, you up, four, up, five, up. And stay in the middle, lift your leg up and hold. 10, nine, if you want some challenge here, move your hands up, lift up and back here. Attention. You start to feel a leg a little bit more fatigue. You start to feel your ankle shaking a little bit, but stay here. You're working your strength on your ankle. Two more. And the last one up. Perfect. Let's go for the other side. And three and two and one other side. Step back. Step Attention, this knee, you don't move. Don't move this knee. Breathe in, breathe out, one more. Breathe in, breathe out, last one. Breathe in, 
breathe out. Now with the chin, lift your heel up. Side one. Side two. Side three. Side four. Side five. And now stay here and hold. If you like a challenge with me, lift your arms up, back down. Lift your arms up. You can't move your body, just your arms. You stay still strong. You can feel it, your ankle shaking a little bit. Try to press your heel against the floor. Breathe out when you move your arms up. One more, the last one. And inhale, exhale and relax well done so ankles done next one Kara. okay so next up like i said we've got our ankles done and now we're going to move up our legs to our knees now knees unfortunately for skiers are a pretty vulnerable point which i know as well as anyone having had two major knee surgeries throughout my career but the reason why they're vulnerable it also means that they are vital to our skiing so the reason why knees tend to be vulnerable is that they are the first point of pivot for our skis. It's the first joint since our ankles are actually in this big plastic boot. Our knees are the first point of strain that our body takes, which is why it's so important to strengthen the muscles around them to help stabilize that joint. So ankles engaged, engage your knees. A good tip for staying in a balanced position when you're skiing. You want your shin angle to be similar to your spine angle. So what I mean is the angle of your lower leg should be similar to the angle of your back. Immediately, if for example, you change the angle of your back and you collapse, this is not a steady position. This is not a balanced position. I can't react to the terrain. I can't make good turns. Engage that core, draw your knees, spine and chin angle similar. Make sense? Okay, Vivian is gonna show you guys how to strengthen up those muscles around your knees to help stabilize your knee joint. Over okay, so let's go for the second joint. Let's start to work in our knees, okay? So attention, one, th one thing is very important. Our knee stability comes from our glutes, okay? So the focus here is just activate a little bit more our thighs, our quadriceps, our muscles here in the front of your knees, but you have to engage your core and keep like really contract to your glutes all the time because if you relax upper body, if you relax your hips, what happen? You start to lose your stability on your knees, okay? So let's do it. The first exercise I want that all of us do together here is legs apart, is squat position here. Okay, so now you have to bend more your knees, push your hips back and down, suck your, your hips joint in here and stay here, okay? So basically what you have to do, you have really to step backwards, lunges, go down, kneeling a little bit. If you have funny knees or some problem, don't go too deep, okay? Just halfway, pressure on your heel and back in the center, down, and back in the center. I'll do, I'll do now uh, facing to the camera for you guys. So down and back to the center. Attention here. One more time. It looks simple, but if you don't put pressure on your heel, if you don't inhale, exhale, you can't keep this knee stable, okay? So to stabilize your knee, you have to do all the things together and back. Go down, kneeling and back. Five more, five and back and back, you have to do very precisely every single movement here to activate the correct muscles. Two more, and back, one more, and back. Okay, perfect, can you feel the burn? A little bit, let's go for the other side, okay? Three, two, one. So we step down, and back, down, and back. Attention to your knee, down, and back, down, and back, five, down, back, four, and back, three, and back, two, and back, one more, one, 
Perfect. Now let's do the same to the side, okay? So we have to create a little bit of instability. When you move our leg to the side, you have to hold your body in just one leg here with your knees bent in the position. You can't, you cannot move this leg here, okay? Stay still strong here. To the side, squat, and back here. If you want some challenge here, my advice, don't touch your foot back. Stay in the air. Side, air. Two, stay. Three, and four, and five. Come on, six. I know it's burning. Side. Breathe in when you go down. Breathe out when you come up. Two more. And one more. Great. Relax. Whew. Other side. Ready? And three, and two, and one. Let's go. One. Attention. You are activating your hips, your hips, sorry, your thighs, okay? So pay attention. If you're really contracting your core, engage your core, pressure on your heel against the floor, and try to move your body the way you don't move this side here, okay? To activate all these muscles. And four, and three, and two, and one. Well done, guys. Relax. The last one. Attention here. Um, this is involved a little bit of uh, flexibility, so you have to do the way to uh, achieve your limit, okay? When you get Vivian, I can go lower, stop. Legs apart, knees apart here, shoulders back and down. What you have to do? You have to go down. Keeping the same angle here, down, 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 down. Try to touch the floor and back. If you start to collapse, your upper body, stop, okay? So you try to go deeply, uh, deeper, but the way you don't change your position. Let's do 10 times to finish, okay? Three, two, one. Right hand or left. Back. Other hand. Back, touch, keep the same position. Touch, the same angle in your trunk, the same angle for your hips. You just go down, push your hips back and down. Don't bend over your trunk. Heels against the floor. And three, breathe in down. Breathe out, up. Let's do two more. And one more. Okay, stay here. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. <sighs> okay, could you feel the burn? I could feel it. Kara, could you feel it? Yeah, I could definitely feel it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great. You can see how all those exercises really resembled the position that we have when we're skiing. You know, what Vivian was talking about, about keeping that spine and shin angle the same as you go down, that's exactly the muscles that we need to work when we are skiing. Okay, so I think we have time for Vivian to deliver a final killer glute exercise. I hate to tell you this, guys, this is Vivian's speciality. So enjoy the burn. I will be feeling the pain with you. But yeah, over to you, Vivian, for a last glute exercise. Okay, so now I just move my, my camera down here, my screen down. So guys, everyone here is the time to use your mat or your towel. Lay down on the floor on your side, okay? Attention here. Uh, bridges, I will do some bridges with you guys. Bridges, sometimes I watch some videos, people do bridges the wrong way. I will explain why, okay? This is very important to explain this. If you wanted to activate your hips uh, muscles, your hips joint to move your hips joint, you cannot use your toes. This is wrong, okay? 
You're not activating your glutes. You're not activating the back of your thighs. What are you activating? Calves. It doesn't help us, okay? To have glutes activation, we need to just keep your heels pressing against the floor. When you do bridges, you don't use your lower back. How to do it the correct way? First, press your heels against the floor, legs apart the same distance as your shoulders, okay? When you go up, the first pressure is on your heels. You breathe in, press your heels against the floor, and breathe out, pushing your heels against the floor is automatic, okay? Your hips moves, move up the way when you push your heels against the floor. If you don't push your heels against the floor, you start to use your lower back. This is the problem, okay? Heels, just heels. Engage your core, suck your navel in, pull everything in and stay here. So basically what you have to do here is your challenge. You have to lift your right leg or left up, stay all the body weight on one heel and back. Other one, you have to step side, one side, other side. You cannot feel pressure on your shoulders. All the pressure is on your heel. You squeeze your butt when you lift one leg up and back. 10 and nine and eight. Engage your core, don't collapse your hips down. Two more, let's do two more. Two. And one more, stay here, perfect. Relax your shoulders, can you feel your bum contracting? Yes, perfect. Relax your shoulders here, go down with your hips, now one leg up, aha. I've even been so difficult to do one leg up, don't worry, keep two, uh, two legs together, just try to do it slowly, okay? So basically, if you cannot go with one leg up, two together, going to squeezing and back or you can come with me one leg up and lift your hips up with pressure on your heel and back breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in and up and in and up and in five five and back and four and back and three, come on, engage your core, and two, and one more, hold, you stay here, don't move, oh my gosh, yeah, you stay here, don't move, five, four, three, two, one, the killer, if you want a challenge, if you like a challenge, push your leg down, move your leg down, and stay your heels, your heel, pressing against the floor, your leg straight, don't touch your bum on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Oof. Let's go other side. The same way, if you did both sides, the other side, do the same, okay? You have to do the same for both sides. This is very important. Lift your leg up, heel on the floor, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Heel, pressing stronger and engage your core. Five and back, leg pointing up, four and three and two and one more. Stay here, challenge and three and two and one. Leg down, heel pressing against the floor, don't touch your bum on the floor, stay, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, well done, you did it, you did it, Kara, could you feel it, yes or no? Oh my goodness, yes, <laughs> I hope you guys were all feeling that too, I did warn you, but thank you very much, Vivian, that was awesome, okay, so, Good job for making it through today's workout. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for, for today. But massive thank you to Ellis Brigham for helping us to do these workouts. It's awesome to be able to showcase what Vivian and I do. And we hope you really enjoyed it. If you have any feedback or you want to ask us any questions, 
If you're watching this on Facebook Live, then you can leave your questions in the comments below. And if you're watching this on Zoom, you can head over to Facebook and do the same thing. What do you think, Vivian? Yes. So if you want to some, if comment something about bands as well, my advice, the next workout, we start to build up our workout here. OK, so we be a problem. So you can have your bands with you to advance a little bit your level here with our exercises. If you can't uh, have bands, it's fine. But if you have something, you'll be very good to really have some challenge for your muscles. And some questions, just you can send a message to us, right? To our Instagram as well, VC, uh, VC Ski Fitness. And uh, all of you guys, uh, important thing now for Sunday, for every day, of course, in your breakfast, we just finished our breakfast, almost our lunchtime, water. Don't forget to drink water, uh, eat properly, please. It's very important. Our body is 70% diet 30 percent exercise the exercise boosts your metabolism for you to feel better for you be better to increase your your health so please drink water eat properly and we are here together on sundays so quick like stretching because you're asking yourself how about the stretching for the stretch is simple relaxing just to have to um, lift your hips up your chest down relax your body like your trunk down okay if you have like if your flexibility is not so good don't worry no panic just bend your knees relax go for one side breathe in breathe out go for the other side breathe in breathe out go in the middle bend your knees uh, put your hands on your knees curve now your trunk okay suck your navel in and go all the way up in a big stretching you cross your fingers on the top okay you can go on the wall or some chair just grab one foot very gently okay this is not a flexibility session it's just to release your muscles you worked today and shake a little bit your legs big breath be happy today sun in london is a beautiful day sunny and i hope to see you again next sunday right yeah we will see you sunday it might be me it might be vivian we might be live it might be pre-recorded depending on whether i'm skiing and vivian is doing what vivian does um, but we will <laughs> see you then <laughs> okay Bye, everyone. Everyone. thank you so much Thank you, everyone, for enjoying our workout today. And I hope to see, see you on next Sunday, or pre recorded or live. You'll be the same quality of workout. Just come, click, and do your wax exercise with us. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good Sunday, everyone. Bye-bye. Enjoy your Sunday. It is amazing sunshine. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.